I campaigned with Donathan in 2015. Northern says they don't want to hear anything. Peter B. Labour Party presidential candidate said that he campaigned across the country with former President Jonathan in 2015 and the Northerners said that they don't want to hear anything. Peter B. recalled the incident during his engagement with Nigerians on Twitter space and he was reacting to questions about division in the country along ethnic and religious lines and how he thinks such division can be tackled and restore unity to Nigeria. It will be said, when in 2015 I campaigned across Nigeria with, then with Jonathan, I saw this happening, where Northerners were like, we don't want to hear anything, we don't want to see you in the north. And there were so many attractive proposals, campaign promises that Buhari gave them then, and he was voted into office. Eight years after, we did not see, maybe there is any reduction in the poverty in the north. I did not see where the north is buying bread cheaper than the south there was no improvement they were not more they were no more secure he said today we see similar situation in the southwest where people think it is their turn and they don't even care he said all these things are happening because politicians use it as a tool for competition i asked people can they show me where they buy bread cheaper in ibado Peter B said all this Issues are easy to solve when people with competence, character, capacity are brought back. He said all this division will disappear. Are you telling us you are better than who? This behavior is common from your area. Always thinking you are better than others. Hey, Mumu idiot. What is he saying? What are you talking about? Your Mumu no get cure. Of course, he no get cure. Lunacy for taking over the asylum, cooking and heroin overdose. We never allow them to reason. Chief Numbu, the grandfather of corruption, is coming with his grandchildren. Think of Erufai, Judas Iscariot, who have collected his 30 pieces of silver, alias Wiki, Akwabio, Opusodima, so many grandchildren, too numerous to mention. No Igbo shall rule Nigeria in the 50 years so or so, if ever. You lied. He has already beaten Obola Tinubu hands down, despite money he threw away. Nigerians voted him to win. Tinumbu, as Moto Park Agbero, he forced himself into the seat as a Moto Agbero. Hmm. Why? Even when they have the best ones, if you are saying, if what you are saying is true, then you are not practicing true democracy. Why did you score ninety five percent in the south? So sad. The so called Yoruba supported this man. Is that what the madman advising you to do? You cannot support APC without looking stupid. Peter B should know that Yoruba people are his major supporters. Forget those who have a, who have corn in their pockets and they born daffs. That is the simple truth. The man is giving the same way. What has changed? They are telling you that you should stop listening to all these politicians who are using all manner of things to campaign. That there's no way any, where anything is cheaper. Whether the Igbos are suffering or whether the suffering that you are thinking about in Nigeria is not particular to any region that is exactly what he said but they want to turn it well at least you know don't choose who now once oh yeah when i for the man they chop the uh, breakfast hmm. well the gospel truth already tinubu is in the sea without any navigational skill the whole country is down with foreign exchange okay well, that is the gospel truth we desire good governance and a better society but when it is time for election we narrow our choices on ethnic and religious affiliation. We deceive ourselves a lot, hoping that one day miracle will happen with our bad choices. Yeah, what about what about you that use religion to campaign all over Nigeria? Who, because of the propaganda, now who use religion to campaign? Don't worry yourself, my president. He will laugh last, laugh best. That is why you never rule this country. It is better you leave us with our poverty. And at the poverty, now they finish you. A presidential material don't speak in divisive way like this. Ah, divisive way. They, they ask a question. If they talk about what they happen, you say divisive way. What the Tinubu campaign of? They brainwash people like you with little mind, with tribe and religion. How is your life today? Please be wise. Yeah, Peter B, the South is, is guilty of this, your tribalism character. Why are you pointing out 
the north and the west. Igbo did not vote for him because he's an Igbo person. Because you people are always bragging that it's your turn, that he said this and that. He has never bragged. He said, don't vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. Don't vote for me because of this. But your people said, vote for him because of this, because of that. And you come back and see point fingers at him. You don't need the north to win. Just convince the wise uh, first, then move to the west. We will regret, we will reject you 100 times. Yes, daddy, I mean it. Yes, daddy, it is religious war. Yes, daddy, you can't be a Nigerian president. You will remain a slave forever because you are an idiot. So, Peter B is meant to set slave free. Yes, so that meeting was meant for obedience. I still wonder what all these uh, Amebo were doing there. Uh, may you not be alive to enjoy Nigeria when Peter B takes over. Don't worry, God will surely take you the soonest the sweetness sweet things now is that uh, they are all enjoying the the man they voted for she won't finish them <laughs> oh so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this